the Purdue Research Park, and thanks to funding, Purdue will be using part of the building. News 18's Brad Oppenheim tells us how Purdue is pioneering a new kind of manufacturing that's being used by the industry to create lightweight vehicles. During their meeting last week, the State Budget Committee gave its approval for a multi-million dollar project at Purdue. State Representative Sheila Klinker is a member on the Budget Committee and says Purdue is well deserving of the funding. I'm very proud that uh, Purdue University always comes to the Budget Committees well prepared. Committee members agreed to have the university start a five-year lease at the brand new Indiana Manufacturing Institute, where Purdue's design, modeling, and simulation enabling technology center will occupy half of the building, which is owned by the Purdue Research Foundation. Purdue professor R. Byron Pipe says he's looking forward to moving into the new building. This is a wonderful new enterprise that we're engaged in here at Purdue where we're bringing industry and university together. Along with Purdue, private and public enterprises will occupy the building, collaborating with the university in its research of composite materials manufacturing. We will locate industry in the other parts of that building so that there is a good interaction between our uh, activities there that are all Purdue and the industry that wishes to grow out of it. Over the course of the five years, around $45 million in funding will come from the state of Indiana, the Department of Energy, and the manufacturing industry itself. Pipe says he hopes to be there even after the five-year lease is up. We expect to be there in the sixth year and carry on this work for some time until this new auto industry is developed here in Indiana. Indiana is the big automotive producer in this part of our, our state. And uh, I'm thrilled to be bringing the newest technology from aerospace to automotive, making that transition right here in West Lafayette and Lafayette, Indiana. Reporting in West Lafayette, 